Hello. Um, voila. Okay, guys, cool. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we do cool things like. Yeah. Get him. Wait. Boop. We can have it all sorts of colors here on Madeline's channel. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Look, guys. Look at. Look at it, that stuff. Isn't that the coolest thing you ever did see? Totally worth a lot of money that I spent. Woo! Uh, <laughs> we're gonna leave it on blue. Welcome to my channel where I do things and I talk about things and I do a lot of... I hope I do a lot of things. I don't know. I'll find out in the next year. Because <laughs> um, this video, this little video, is about what I want to do for 2018. And what do I aspire to be? Kitty, stop touching the tripod. What do I aspire to be? What do I want to be? What I've been? Blah blah blah. A little reflection on 2018. Little bit, you know, self reflection kind of like. I guess this is like sort of a video journal entry. So future Maddie can be all like, hey, <laughs> you think I'm bad now? Looking back then. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, so I guess some kind of video journal. I'm not vlogging. That's maybe I don't know. I'll do vlogs if I like go to like a place of significance, like away from home. Not like Walmart or anything, but like. So, all right, all right, all right. let's cut to the the big thing this year. We're gonna talk about 2017 right off the bat. And the one thing I like want to clarify about this video is that if I talk about you I'm sorry but you affected me and I will not say your name or anything of the sorts uh, you're just people that affected me and I want to talk about the things that happened not really the things or who they correspond to but I want to start with a brief summary of my 2017. 2017 for me was a really hard year it was a really hard year because I had to graduate high school and for someone who's always looking to extend the childhood factor of things, because I didn't really... I grew up an adult, let's put it that way. Um, I'm always trying to, like, get the most out of what I left I have of being, like, a silly kid. And then I'm slowly learning, oh, you can always be a kid, Maddie, blah blah blah, no matter how old you get. And I'm like, cool, yeah, but it was still hard emotionally. Um, the year started in a relationship that soon thereafter ended. Um, that was awful. Um, I learned a lot about that kind of stuff this year. I learned a lot about friendship and what real friends are and if they even exist. <laughs> um, interpersonal relationship learning stuff. Um, who I call my real friends are nowadays far and few between people I see every couple weeks because I make time for them and they make time for me. And that's the big thing I learned is if people are making time for you, don't make time for them. Don't do that. That's just like, you're, you're basically opening yourself up to be a doormat and that's just no way. No. That was a great first video, Maddie. Who's so lighthearted. No, I know. But this is, I want to be honest about like, if we're going to talk about YouTube in general, I want to be an honest YouTuber. I don't want like this facade of like, I mean of course I'm going to be a little different on camera. I think that just, that's inherent, sort of, um, or like assumed. Um, this year was hard and if I seem like I'm being a little too real, sorry. That's how I want this, that's, that's what I want this YouTube channel to be. Be it silly sometimes, probably I want to be honest. And that's that. And that's a, that's a huge thing in this year is that the one thing that I was the whole time was honest with myself, with everyone around me. Because the year prior I just came out of the big, the, the place where you keep your clothes. And um, I had a really painful experience with that. Not like in a way that other people have. Family kind of received it well. Like, like I'm not getting kicked out of my house. My dad actually was like super cool about it. Other family members probably don't even know about it because it has to be a hush hush thing because it's not important, I guess. That's fine. That's totally fine. 
doesn't really matter. Um, Cause it's not important. Just a key factor in me becoming an adult. Not important at all. Don't worry about it guys, I'm fine. Um, stuff like that, uh, that kind of stuff happened this year. Learning about what I want to be, who I want to be, what I want to do for college. I want to be a translator. Uh, that's like a goal that I would love to have and become a translator for uh, whatever big company, but I really, mainly in that goal, want to learn how to speak French. I want to learn how to speak another language in the worst way because I want to be cultural. I don't want to be your standard American where it's like, haha, cool, English is the best language ever and that's all there ever will be. No, there are so many cultures out there and it's like, that's so fun and fascinating. I want to go explore that. And like, I think I might be able to do this through my college education, hopefully. It's a lot of money, but it's something that I think will change me a lot because I'm still at home. And the big thing lately for me is like, I'm 19 and like, I'm on vacations, uh, winter break for where I go to college. And the big thing is like, is this how you want to live the rest of your life, Maddie? Doing these really mundane chores and going home and doing nothing. But I'm on vacation and I have to like be like, wait a second, Maddie, you're a child. I'm 19. <laughs> I'm 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 a baby. I'm I'm basically a fetus in this world, and I am so open to learning. Though, um, in contrast with us, a lot of this year was dealing with my friends not being where I am on my maturity level. It sounds awful, but like when your your friends are doing drugs in a place that you don't want to be and a place you don't want to be around and you're pretty much the only one that designated driver yeah that one you're the only one that can really drive them home because you're the only one there that really decided to be sober in that situation you find yourself in a position of where you are the only adult there you don't wanna be in that world because you came from that world as a small kid and you see your friends going down the route that you would never even begin to think or even I can't even wow um <laughs> like you can't even believe that you're hanging out with these people after so long after all the bullshit and that was this year is learning how to like separate yourself from the people you don't want to hang out with um and like, I don't want to be like, oh ha, huh, look at all these names, but like, I don't know, if you watch my videos, you, you, and you know me, you probably know who I'm talking about, and it's like, I am so far from that, and I want to be far from that, I want to go places, I want to do things with my life, I want to make money, and I want to have a family at some point. Whatever that means for a 19 year old, but like, I have aspirations and the people I was hanging out with don't, are not the same ones as I do. And not that I'm all like, oh, I need to be around like smarter, intelligent people. No, I don't judge these people. I want to keep, I want to preface that. I don't judge these people for the decisions that they make because that's like, that's their life. That's not my life. And learning how to separate standards from judgment is the hardest thing I learned this year. Well, okay. It's up there, boys and girls. It's up there. The conclusion of this is it's okay to say goodbye. Because for me, I didn't grow up with a lot of friends. I didn't grow up with a lot of people in my life that I could trust and hug and hold and call my own because I was going through some tough shit. And so when I have people around me that say they want me around and they want me around because I'm great and funny, blah, 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 whatever, whatever excuses they have. In reality, which is the honest part of this, I, I didn't feel that way. I felt, wow, Maddie, there's a lot of people here that you just, in reality, don't really vibe with. Um, and it wasn't healthy for me. It wasn't healthy for anyone there, quite frankly, in my humble little opinion, but it was just, the environment was just not the best. But, yeah, so it's okay to say goodbye to those people. It's okay to be like, I have standards, and I'm sorry, I don't want to judge you, but this isn't really for me. It's okay to say that, future Maddie, if you forget. Um, and it's okay to say no. And it's okay to not be, feel like you have to take care of people. Because that's the big thing for me, is I am such an inherent nurturer. 
I want to take care of everyone I care about and love and blah blah blah. And like, I realize that like, now, put the filter of standards and values on, there's only really a few people that I really care about. That's, that's okay. It's okay, you're 19, just take a deep breath, dude. Um, it's okay to block people out if you have to, even if you don't say goodbye, even if you cuss them out in French, even if you just cuss them out regularly. It's okay to cut people out because they're hurtful to you and they used you. They used you 100% and it's so okay for you to say, bye, you're awful to me, always. See you never. Like, that's okay. Because you get to respect yourself and your values. You get to respect everything that has happened to you. You get to value those experiences that you get to think about whenever and however you want. Don't dwell on it, but if you need to reflect on shit, dude, do it. Because you want to share, like, if you ever, like, that's, that's, um, trust issues. Let's talk about that for a second. Like, now, after this year, gonna have a little bit of a, well, not trust issues, but it's gonna be hard to, like, for me to want you to be in my life. Because there are just so many people that this year has just literally walked up and used me because I said, hey, are you okay? Hey, is everything all right? And I opened a Pandera, plethora of Pandera's boxes. Look at that alliteration. Um, of just shit I didn't want to hear. And where I'm like, there, but you know, I opened my box and nobody wants to be there for me. Well, not. Not nobody. I have people that do. I just didn't realize that they did. And now they're my closest friends. And I, I never expected anything to happen this year that did happen. Like, it was just, everything was a curveball. Everything, I mean, not a dull moment, don't get me wrong, but the emotions can't take that. That <laughs> much as just work. So, I grew, up, I grew up Catholic. I grew up with the idea that, you know, Anything is possible with a little hard work. And that's true, I think, to a degree. In fact, I, I fully, hard, wholeheartedly believe it. And so when I come to these social relationships, and I have these interpersonal relationships, if I just keep putting effort in, right? It's gonna turn out, right? Because that's how it's worked for the whole, the whole everything else in your life, Maddie. No, that's not how it works at all. Because some people, you can't save them from themselves, and you can't, like, force people to grow up, because, you want to start, tell them, hey, this is the common sense decision. Don't be dumb. Don't do this stupid stuff. And they don't listen. <laughs> you, can't, you can't change people as much as you care about them and you want them to make the right decisions for them. You can't. And that's okay. Because <laughs> honestly, the ones that you have had an impact on are the ones that stayed. I want 2018 to be about building bridges, not burning them, because I hate burning build bridges. Some kids are just like, haha, cool, bye everyone I don't care about, or everyone I kind of cared about beforehand, now I have no friends, and I'm sad and alone and isolated, but you know, none of this is my fault kind of life that people have. Wow, that was a lot of stuff, but like, there are people out there who just have these careless, like, because I care about my interpersonal relationships. If I call you genuinely my friend, if I have ever genuinely hugged you, I have a bubble. Okay, I don't let people in it all the time. I'm just weird, I don't know. But if I have ever genuinely hugged you and you have affected me positively, I will have let you know in about a hundred different ways. There are kids who think they have close friends, and I mean, that was me though. I just figured it out. But there are some kids who think that like their closest friends are their closest friends, even though they're kind of just acquaintances. I'm at a different social place than you. That's okay. And the big thing is saying, it's okay, Maddie, this whole year, because there's so many things. I've questioned myself, I've questioned the relationships I've had, I've questioned friendships. There's only been one relationship, and that went great. Um, this new year, not the best. Let's just, you know, it started out awesome. I'm underage. I don't do terrible things. Um, I'm very, when I do terrible things, I'm responsible, let's put it lightly. Um, and I, you know, I was home. I was home. I was playing on this guy. He's awesome. 
playing a lot of video games, being super having a chill time. So somebody sends me this one message and it ruined the night. The message sent to me was absolutely in little little Maddie's head at the like, cause I don't know, when you're Swifty, um you kinda your 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 most genuine self and somebody that I cared about just <laughs> took my little little swifty heart, took it and stomped on it. Like <laughs> it, it it ruined me and they're just one of those people I don't talk to anymore. And it breaks my heart. But it was also a big wake up call. Cause it's like, wow. Even the closest ones to you can hurt you. Cause typically getting hurt for me means like, oh, they don't wanna hang out. Oh, blah, 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 teenage stuff. Which I'm like, with a lens can see that that's, that's fine. That I get to feel that bad or feel that way. But with this kind of stuff, it's like, wow, the people you think you care about don't care about you sometimes. And that was a big thing. It's like learning like, how do I place myself in this relationship? This friendship, if you want to call it that. How do I, how do I, do they talk to me as much as I talk to them? Who's initiating conversation? How does that work? How does the dynamic, like, who wants to hang out with who? Do they make time for you? Do they care about you? Blah, 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 the list goes on. Brief summary, no. They're just, they're just somebody that needs to work on being a better friend. Somebody said that you just gotta start. I don't know, probably some YouTuber, can't remember. But you just gotta start, and I'm gonna start. Low-key, secretly, underneath, like, wanting to be a translator, writer, whatever I end up being, I wanna be an entertainer and an educator, because I really believe in the power of education and entertainment. Look at net neutrality. It's all this fucking dude, you got him. We got him, got him. Any English teacher I ever had at school, uh, whatever high, a. Thank you. I would not have been able to be and find the person I wanted to be. I wouldn't be able to make the, the, the decision to want to be an English major and double major in French. I would never have been able to come to conclusions of what I love to do without you people. Is from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Anyway, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Can I get one like? <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you.